final penalty left. Now, we, we documented a few weeks ago your frustration with some of the Joe Gibbs cars, yet you seem to race that cleanly those final laps. Did you have other options on the final lap? We always have other options. I just uh, I had a really good farmer's insurance Chevrolet. Uh, we, were, we were fast. Kenny made a, gr a great call to get the tires come out and not have to worry about fuel. And uh, I just didn't get it done. I didn't win. I had the, uh, the better car. The guys did an awesome job in the pits. And I feel bad I didn't win. I needed, uh, we needed this. This would have been big for us. But we ended up second. Still a good point today. And uh, we'll try to get one in Atlanta. You tried to make the pass cleanly. Our guys upstairs, Dale, Jared, Andy, were talking about on the final lap, your only option would have been actually to have contact with the 20. Uh, were you trying to get there, or did you, did you just opt not to do it? Well, if I was trying to get there, I would have wrecked probably both of us. It would have just been a wreck. Uh, I just tried to pass him as clean as I could, and race him as hard as I could, and I thought I had him at one point. I had a good run, tried to slide across, and he just kept position. We were rubbing all the way down off turn four. Uh, I just didn't clear him. I just didn't get it done, and uh, I'm upset with myself for, for not figuring out how to win tonight, because I, I clearly had a better car at the end of the race. A very frustrated Casey Kane, but uh, he raced him cleanly in spite of the frustrations, and now in his fourth second place finish of the year. What do you think? Well, I mean, yeah, he tried. Uh, oh, you're Casey. Yeah. at Bristol and we have more post-race coverage coming up. While out after another wild one at Bristol, 11 cautions, 74 laps, and a greatly scrambled championship picture now as we go to the final three races to, so to decide who will be in the uh, chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup. Well, final two before the chase starts. Atlanta, then Richmond. Should be very interesting to see how this all works out in these next couple of weeks. Not about that. Don't want to miss it, I'll tell you. This thing is up big time. More stories to wrap up post-race in Bristol. We start with Dave. So Denny Hamlin comes home with disappointing 28th after being the fastest qualifier today. Talk about that restart and then uh, the conversation you might have with Kevin Harvick. Yeah, I, I, he was under the pressure and I caused it, but I didn't. Uh, you know, he, he didn't see the replay and I, I talked to him. Luckily, we, we were able to talk right away and, and, and hash it out. So uh, the 55 just cut down on us right in the middle of the straightaway and it cut my right front tire. And uh, obviously, I'm, I'm just in the car and a steering wheel holder at that point. So went dead straight and caused a huge accident. So sucks for all the cars that are involved, especially guys that are kind of on that bubble. But I didn't cause it. Anyway, I'm just uh, one of those guys that was just running down the straightaway and we got cut off. One of your crew said to me, it's been that kind of year. You concur? I just, you know, we just can't get to break. Even, you know, we were as solid of a car as we were today. You know, we had a, a car that could run in the top five. And, you know, I, I thought contend, I, I thought we were better than the five. Uh, so, you know, who knows what would happen. We just, we cannot catch a break. Uh, you know, you got to laugh at it at this point because it's just, it's uh, somewhat humorous. Denny Hamlin's night at Bristol. What a night it was for Jimmy Johns. We just tracked you down. You still had a smile on your face, but what a rough couple of weeks it's been. After all that, how are you looking toward the chase as you see Matt Kenseth at victory lane? Yeah, you know, it's been a few weeks, but uh, it's racing, and we're going to definitely um, come back next week and do all we can. I mean, I think we're going to run just in tonight and have some finish. Last week, I really think we had a shot to win and had an engine failure. Uh, but it's racing. Stuff happens. Um, luckily, we had a big points lead that we can kind of deal with right now. We've locked into the chase, but we certainly want to clean things up and have some great finishes rolling into the chase. But uh, you know, this most team will work hard. We'll keep, uh, keep after it. Be back next week. I guess you have two more tries to be the number one chase or uh, the seed with Matt Kenseth at this point. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll go to Atlanta and, and do all we can there. And then Richmond, we just tested there, and I felt like we had a real good test. So uh, there's still a lot of racing left. And then once the chase starts, it's its own animal. So uh, we'll just wait and see what happens during those 10. All right, thanks, Jimmy. And those championship standings after tonight's race. Clint Boyer locks his place in the chase. Matt Kenseth flinches at least a wild card. Joey Logano into the top ten. Out of the top ten. Brad Keselowski, Kurt Busch, Jeff Gordon down in 13th. And there's the picture. Yeah, we'll head to Atlanta another, next weekend. Another wild night at Bristol. Saturday night, Nationwide Series from Atlanta. Sunday night, the Sprint Cup Series race from Atlanta. And your late local news is next, except on the West Coast. Wisconsin's Matt Kenseth wins tonight in Bristol.